Up to this point, we've explored solutions of strong acids or bases and weak acids or bases. Solutions made from strong acids are primarily just solutions of their conjugate bases, A- and H3O+, since their Ka values are large. Since the conjugate bases of strong acids are very, very weak, the pH of these solutions are very low, very acidic. Similarly, strong bases have large Kb values, so, sol so solutions made from them contain mostly just their conjugate acids, BH plus and hydroxide. And the pH of these solutions are very, very high, quite basic. Weak acids and bases have smaller Ka and Kb values. So when dissolved in water, the solution contains primarily the original weak acid or weak base, and very little of its conjugate. We say that the major species in these solutions are the ones in highest concentration. Here, the weak acid and base themselves. These sorts of solutions which have only one major component, aside from water, H3O+, and OH-, are very sensitive to the addition of other compounds. If you add an acid, the pH tends to drop pretty quickly. And if you add a base, the pH increases rather quickly. There's nothing inherently problematic with this, but sometimes chemists or biologists or organisms would like a solution to maintain a particular narrow pH range. To accomplish this, we use buffers. A buffer is a solution containing roughly equivalent quantities of a weak acid, weak base, conjugate pair. When I say roughly equivalent, I generally mean ratios between about 1 to 10 and 10 to 1. These solutions contain two major components, both a weak acid and a weak base, which are in equilibrium with each other because they are conjugates of each other. They resist changes in pH from added acids or bases because when you add, say, a base, it reacts with some of the conjugate acid, turning it into the conjugate base and by Le Chatelier's principle, this system compensates by reforming some of the conjugate acid, shifting back toward the reactants. This dampens the effect of adding an acid or a base. The pH of a buffer system is given by an equation called the henderson hasselbalch equation, where the pH of a buffer solution is equal to the pKa of the weak acid that is the conjugate acid, plus the log base 10 of the conjugate base concentration over the conjugate acid concentration. In principle, any weak acid weak base conjugate pair can be used to create a buffer. Each buffer system tends to maintain a pH within plus or minus one unit from the pKa of the conjugate acid. This pH range is called the buffer range.